Bridget with PotomacBeads.com. Join me in creating this mystic dragonfly bracelet. You can find a list of materials at the beginning of this video, as well as below this video in the description area, you'll find a list along with links to the product where you can purchase from us online. This design was actually created during one of our design lives, so if you haven't had a chance, definitely come and check those out and find some inspiration of your own. So come and join me as we create this Mystic Dragonfly Bracelet. So to start this Mystic Dragonfly Bracelet, I have two needles already threaded on here, and I've started already threading on 36 of my 15 O's. Um, at the end, I'll be using this table cut button as my clasp, so I'm starting off just by making that loop. So using those 36, um, we'll go through using the opposite needle through that last 15 O on the opposite side and pull that tight to make that loop for that button at the end. And from there, just go ahead and add two 15s on both sides. And then we'll go ahead and start with the silkies. So using just the mini silkies through both needles and then two drop duos on both sides and you'll be going through that bottom hole that's closest to the point. And we'll pull those down. And when you're starting off, the drop duos, they're not going to really fall into place. Um, you'll see it better once we get that second silky in, and then they'll start going, um, going into place with the points facing in. So then we'll do another silky. And two drop duos. not wanting to cooperate with me. There we go. <laughs> and we'll pull those down. And then again with another silky. You can see once it starts getting tighter, those drop duos will kind of start going right into place there. And then again with two drop duos. And a silky. So you'll just be doing, um, just going straight through, just on both sides of the needles, up until, oops. <laughs> Try not to get tangled um, up until the end. Uh, once it gets to a length that you would like that it'll fit around your wrist. Um, so you'll just keep going with that until we're ready to go back down the sides with the 15 O's. Okay, so I now have the length that I would want for my bracelet. Um, so from here, I will go ahead and add on the button. So I wanna take my needles and add about three 15s on both sides. And then we'll go up through the button, both needles um, going through either side of the button. And see that just slides on right there. And then just to kind of make a little bit of an embellishment on the button, I'll go ahead and add 
about five fifteens per needle. And then I'll go down back through the button on opposite sides uh, that the needle came out of. So I'll pull this down. And just go back down through the opposite hole with both needles. And then you can go ahead and pull that tight. There we go. So you get a little bit of that embellishment there um, on the front of that button. So from here, what we're gonna do, so we have um, almost the completed bracelet. We'll go back down with the needle on the opposite side and we're just gonna be adding some of the 15 o's in between these drop duos. So whereas we, when we came up, we went through the bottom hole through the tip, and now we'll be going through the second hole through the rounder, uh, thicker top part of the drop duo. So we'll take our needle, and on both sides, we'll go back down through those 15s. And then back through the silky. Kind of pull that tight. It might be a little hard to pull through those 15s just because they are smaller, but just kind of pull it a little bit tight um, and you'll be able to get that through. So then doing that on the other side with the other needle. And pull that tight. And you can see, you might have to just work a little bit um, with each side to kind of get that tight there so that there's not a gap in the thread. There we go. Okay. So now that we're here, let's see. And pull this up so you can see. We're coming out through the silky and we're gonna step up to that second hole of the drop duo. So we're just kind of go. And again, this this part you kind of wanna work on just to get that a little bit tight, just so that there isn't any of that um, extra thread or extra space in the thread. So again, going through the silky, and then stepping up to that top hole of the drop duo. Okay. And again, just kind of lay it flat and kind of play with both sides to get that tight on there. There we go. Okay. And so now I'll just be working, I'll do one side at a time. Um, that way it'll be a little bit faster. You can just go straight through one side and then go back with the other needle and go straight through the other. So we're starting with, you know, that first one and you'll just add one 15 and go through that top. And then again, 115. So you're just going to go through every drop duo and just adding a 15 in between each one. And you'll do this on both sides. So you can see there how they fit nicely together, just like that.
Okay, so I have just finished adding those 15-0s into the drop duos, in between the drop duos on the one side. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start onto the other. Okay. And as you remember, I came out of the silky bead and then stepped up into that top hole in the drop duo towards the rounder bit of the drop duo. And I'm just going to start by adding 15 and going through the top. And then 15 and going through the top. So you're going to be doing the exact same thing that you did on the other side. So you're just in between each drop duo, you'll be adding one of the 15s. You can kind of see them. Um, see it come together. When you start adding the 15s on that one side, it will start looking a little bit curved, uh, but once you start putting the 15s on the other side, it'll even out a little bit. So don't worry about that curve um, in the bracelet when you're starting out with the one side. Once you start doing the second side, it'll even out and straighten out. So we'll just keep going with the 15s all the way up alongside this last side of the bracelet. And you can already tell on this side, it's straightening out more. So you're, you're not going to see that curve that you see here. And so once you just keep going with that until you're at the end, and then I'll show you how to finish it off. All right, so I've just finished the 15 O's on the other side of my bracelet. So both of my needles are up here by the loop that we started with. And I'm gonna add three 15s to both. And then coming up through these two 15s that we added on in the very beginning before going into that silky. And again, since we're going through twice with those 15s, you might have to pull a little bit tight. So you have one side and then I'll do it again with the other. And I'm running a little low on my thread. I thought I'd have to add some more, but I think I actually have just enough. <laughs> but we'll see if I have to add some more. Um, I think I'll have enough to knot it. So again, adding three 15s and then going in those first two. There we go. And again, just pulling a little tight there. So we have that finished off like that. There we go. So from there, I'll just go onto this opposite side. Now go ahead and make the knot there. So I'm going to take my needles off here. And since I do, I use the two needles, I can just do a simple square knot with my leftover thread. Just kind of pull that so it goes right in there in between the beads. And from there, oops. there we go. And from there, let me just burn down the extra And there we have the very simple Mystic Dragonfly Bracelet. Thanks so much for watching and joining me in creating this Mystic Dragonfly Bracelet. Remember you can always subscribe to this channel to receive regular updates on any new products, new designs, the design challenges, as well as any information we think you would like to know. 
Again, if you need any of the materials, there is a list at the beginning of the video, as well as a list below that come along with the links to our website. As always, let me know what you think and how you changed it up to make it your own using any different colors or different design elements. So thanks again for watching and have fun creating this Mystic Dragonfly bracelet.